Hello you plonkers and welcome back today to another video on the Druzy channel. Today I'm joined by the king of AFL YouTube, Caden McDonald. Say hello Dossa. Oh, I thought you were going to say young king. The prince is here. I've got you here today Dossa because we're going to be ranking the AFL teams based on their fan bases. There's going to be uh, a lot of angry people out there. You can't please everyone. That's true. There's going to be a lot of hearts broken and a lot of people who will end up liking me at the end of this video, I think. So I uh, take it with a pinch of salt. Swings and roundabouts, the video. as they say. That's it. So we're ranking fan bases based on our own personal experiences with them, uh, their loyalty to their own club and the atmosphere that they have at their games. Perfect. Run us through the rankings, young Drews. At the top, we've got top notch fan base. Under top notch, we got good. <laughs> <laughs> Under good, we got solid. Under solid, meh. And then below average, and then you can't stand them at the bottom. Beautiful. The Crows docks. What are we thinking for the Crows? Well, they, they always pack out Adelaide Oval, and I like the atmosphere of Adelaide Oval, and I don't have you know, many gripes with the Crows. I think I sort yeah, of... Yeah, I've got none. I'm going to put them in good if that's good. where you want to put them as well. I'd say solid. Solid? I think they're, I think they're above average. I'd go solid. Yeah, I, but, I, I don't I, mind that. I don't mind that. And that's a good barometer for the rest of our list. The Brizzy Lions. I have gripes with Brisbane. I love Brisbane. I've hopped on the bandwagon. But so did so many of their fans. And if we're taking loyalty into consideration, I don't know about that for the Lions. What do you reckon? Um, one of my best mates, Liam Van Gamp's Dutchy. He is a, uh, a Lions man. And he, he does get his membership. So I do respect him a little bit more. But I also know a couple of just annoying terrible Lions fans that hopped on uh, when 100%. they were four or five when they won the three flags and sort of just still are annoying since so <laughs> do you feel like they were quiet after 05 to about 2017 or 10 yeah even? I do actually if I'm gonna be honest I've watched them for the last like three seasons yeah but before that it was their stadium was empty most weeks like you can just see all the different colored seats of the Gabba so yeah what are we saying meh or below average no nah, I reckon meh Nah, yeah, yeah right, I reckon nah. Happy with that. Right, what about the Bulldogs? As a Victorian supporter of football, they're probably the least annoying fan base out of any other Victorian footy team. I yeah, reckon. they seem pretty tame. I just have a soft spot for them, like for the footy club, and I have a soft spot for the supporters because they have been a pretty unsuccessful footy club over the years, so I would definitely have them in the solid to good. I agree with that. I think I, I was happy for Bulldogs fans when they won the flag, because yeah. I know what it's like to be a punish of a club. Good or solid? How do we rate their, their loyalty? I'm pretty sure many moons ago, the club was going to fold, and they rattled tins and made sure that they didn't fold. So I'd put them in the good, at least. Yeah, to be honest, I've never had a problem with a Bulldogs fan, so you're going to get a good doggies. Good job. Well, there you doggies. go. <laughs> Carlton, this is gonna stir the pot. This is gonna stir the pot. Atmosphere, up there. Yeah. Loyalty, up there. Yeah, I would say that too, because they've been awful for ages and they still get, you know, 60, 70,000 to the game. But personal experiences, oh. that, that's, where, that's where the cookie crumbles. Yeah, I've copped it from a few Carlton fans in my time and I really just scratch my head and go, at anyone who's given it to me, I'm not sure. A blue supporter has the legs to stand on. So. <laughs> yeah, literally. I don't really have um, fond memories of Blues fans, even though I do. You know, Connor Rogers once again is a Blues fan, and um, he, he's a pretty good supporter. But there are a lot out there that just rub you up the wrong way. Based on their loyalty and the atmosphere at their games, they're they're right up there. The mindset of a Carlton fan is so like they're, they're not there. Yeah. They don't understand that they're shit. Yeah. So I think that brings them down from top notch. I, I'm happy to give them solid. I was going to say solid too, yeah. Let's go to the Giants. When Cookson and I did five games in five days, we sat in the Giants cheer squad, mm -hmm. and there was people there who hadn't missed a Giants game of football, which I respect a little bit. And they were, yeah. all, they were all good supporters. Like These people had grown up in New South Wales and loved footy, and they said, oh, mm -hmm. when Sydney came from South Melbourne, it still didn't feel like a Sydney team, still felt like a Melbourne team. Oh, right. And they were saying when GWS got born, that was the first Sydney team, so that's why yeah. we got around them. What boils my pissed off is when crowds aren't going to games during the regular season, and then once it's finals, that's when they turn up. When I hear the Giants, that's right in my face. And it disgusts me. <laughs> Atmosphere at Giants games, pretty average. Oh, yeah, but very, the very fans good. themselves, they seem to be decent I'd, sort of people. I'd, I'd sleep well at night if they got to a meh. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing, Dosser. Great yeah. thinking. Perfect. What about the North Melbourne Kangaroos? 
Austin's boys. Cuckoo's boys. Like the general North supporter, I sort of think of like, not quite a battler, but not quite your rich rich. They're not filling the MCC, but they're not like Bulldogs, Footscray, Scummy. Well, yeah. We're not Scummy, yeah. but you know what I mean. So Yeah, I'm, I'm on the same wavelength. When I watch their games and Marble's just empty, there's fuck all atmosphere. They don't play the best brand of footy, so I don't blame them for that. Yep. What are you thinking? Um, I'm thinking below average, to be honest. Sorry, Cookson. Yeah. Um, when I think of North as a club and their supporter base, I think it'd be hard to get them out of below average, wouldn't it? I'm chucking them in below average. Yeah, I'm what content. Right? I'm content. Yeah, lovely. The Melbourne Demons. Yeah, beautiful. I I'd love to get a take on what you think of a Melbourne supporter. You've been shit for the last 20 years, so I don't blame is we're like having a poor atmosphere yeah you could see how much it meant to the fans when you were actually good you can tell the fans are passionate but yeah. they've just been beaten down for the last <laughs> 20 or so years with no yeah. no breaks so yeah. based on loyalty it's hard because they haven't always been loyal in going to the games but the passion's always there yeah yeah but, good call. um atmosphere not great personal experiences i like these so I, I personally would say solid. I think Met would be a little bit harsh. How do you feel the support is when you go? Are you like, yeah, all right, we're getting behind the boys, or do you feel like we should be a bit louder than this? We should be getting behind the boys a bit more. No, I feel it's really, really good, and it's it's a it's a hungry crowd. So it's <laughs> and well, one thing about a D's crowd is it's not entitled. Um, <laughs> Shots at Carlton. <laughs> no, well, like if I go to a Geelong game and they're up by twenty points at three quarter time, they're like, oh. Oh, we're gonna win this we'll take off 10 minutes early when I go to a D's game if we're up by 20 points at three quarter time we're like I don't know if we're gonna win this and when we do it's like elation my day is made because I don't know when the next win's gonna come so you appreciate the wins True. more and that's like a weird vibe you get from a D's game it's like that is um geez every win matters which is pretty cool you chuck them in the solid yeah I'd put them solid I'm, maybe I'm that's bias solid. but um yeah I'm pretty happy fun. with that we'll go to the Dockers next yep. while we're uh, on the floor of what you just said yep when the Dockers win, it doesn't impact my my day really, unless it's like a really bad loss or something like that. Like the result doesn't really impact how I feel. The thing with the Dockers over the last three years, we've been able to beat the best teams. Yeah. So I don't I don't ride too high on it. It's been pretty quick decline from the the 2015, 2013, 14, from when we were selling out Subi every week. Yeah. And now, like, the stadium's empty most weeks. For the most part, the Dockers' support is quite, like, geeky, nerdy, outcasty sort of. The victims of Eagles support sort of thing. Yeah. <laughs> How do you perceive the, the mighty Frio Dockers? They're probably one team that I've got no real opinion on. When I think about some of the bigger wins you had last year, um, mm -hmm. I think there was a couple of kicks on the siren against Brisbane, and, like, yeah, Optus Stadium isn't quite as full compared to, like, yeah. when I think of, like, West Coast games. Do you reckon the move to Optus the stadium hurt you guys a little bit? I think if we were still playing good footy throughout and the stadium change happened, I don't think it would have affected us. I think the stadium change along with the decline in football quality has affected it. A meh, maybe, for the Dockers? <sighs> yeah, I think meh is fair because we do have like a loyal fan base. Yeah. But I don't know. Oh, I'm happy with meh. When I think of Sydney, maybe I'm thinking of the city rather than the team. Like, you think of the city is quite arrogant, quite upper echelon. You know, it's where the rich houses are. So maybe that's somehow translating into the supporters and the team. But the Sydney AFL supporters really get around the swans. Yeah. Which yeah. I respect a little bit. Yeah, I'll, I'm happy to chuck them in solid, to be honest. Yeah, I'll chuck them in solid as well. Yeah, oh, sweet. Alrighty, let's go to the cats next. <laughs> Tell us about the cat stuff. Basically, my hatred for the cats started. Like, I can think of little things in my childhood where, like, I went to a cats clinic and a Geelong player was signing my shirt and accidentally signed up my face and I was like five or six and he started pissing himself and this old larger Geelong female supporter started just laughing her head off at me and I started crying I was like oh my god I've got permanent marker on my face and I can remember like all these memories of like just interacting with the cats I asked Matty Scarlett to sign my top at one of the pools once and he just he tried to sign it and the pen didn't work and he goes, oh, it doesn't work and just handed it back to me. So, like, there's definitely some deep... <laughs> Make it work, Matty. <laughs> <laughs> there's definitely some deep-rooted uh, psychological run-ins with the cats. But in terms of their supporters, like... And it's harsh to compare because everyone likes to enjoy the footy in a different way. I'll travel two hours in the rain on train <laughs> to watch the Ds get rolled by a ton and 
they won't leave their house to go five minutes down the road to watch their team win by 100. And it's like, I would I would do anything to live 10 minutes away from my team. Yeah, quite arrogant, quite, yeah, cocky, entitled. But then again, very, very passionate. The people that do go to GMHBA, even though they're all nutters down there, <laughs> well, the cat's faithful that, you know, don the jackets, get a chips and gravy from uh, Ripper Roast and go to the games. <laughs> I do respect, because, you know, they're yeah. passionate footy fans and fair play that those people have seen the success. I feel the loyalty of the cats. Like every year when they yeah. have to play at the G, you hear the uproar. Like you're yeah. taking this away from our home. Like there's definitely a presence in Geelong. Obviously yeah. they have a bit of arrogance about them, but they've been the best club for the last 15 yeah. years. So that just comes with the nature of that, I think. I'm, oh. I'm happy to check them in like good or solid, to be yeah, honest. I was going to say that. I reckon that's fair. Good or solid? I think my personal gripe with them probably is just a personal vendetta rather than how they actually are. So I, I would say they're probably good. Can't stand them still doesn't have any in there. So maybe we got to be a bit more harsh, but we'll chuck yeah. the cats in good. The Gold Coast Suns. Below then, average. Let's go to Hawks. I've got not an issue in the world with them. They gave me one of the happiest days of my life when they beat the cats in 08. Unbelievable. Geelong undefeated all year. And they get rolled by a fat Stewie Jew. <laughs> you, could, you couldn't ride it. They are passionate and they are, they're there week in, week out. Mm -hmm. And they love their footy club. Are they a little bit entitled? Sure, but, you know, so are Geelong and, you know, they've got every right to be. Yeah, when you bump into a Hawk supporter, they do have, you know, the, the Jeep out the front and uh, <laughs> the uh, in-ground pool out the back. But <laughs> I'm not going to judge them on, uh, on that. <laughs> on well. All right, we'll chuck them in solid. I think that's fair for the Hawks. Port Adelaide. See, I have gripes with Port Adelaide. Really? My dad was like attacked by one in a casino. Yeah, based on that, that's just put a full can't stand them taste in my mouth, personally. I like the pair, but other than that, from what I've seen, they just remind me of the Eagles of Adelaide, and I can't um, do it. Well, yeah, I, just, I don't really... Yeah, I can't class that. I don't really have an opinion. I have heard the story of Alistair Clarkson getting jumped by a couple of Port fans. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't really have that big of an issue. They are very noisy, very loyal supporters. Yeah, I'll give I suppose them that. never tear us apart is pretty sick. They've got a good atmosphere, so I'm willing to hand this one over to you if you want to chuck them down the bottom. See, I, I would chuck them in, can't stand them. The bad outweighs the good for me with yeah. four. Yeah. But based on their loyalty and atmosphere, I would chuck them at solid or good, but I've just had personal experiences just overrides that. And yeah. I can't stand poor fans. No, I'm sorry. Sounds good to me. Alrighty, who are we hitting next? I reckon we go to the Saints. What do you think about the Saints? Yeah, I can't stand them. I can't stand them either. Yeah, good, good. <laughs> One of my favourite videos is me abusing a St Kilda fan who was getting oh, arky yeah. in front of me. <laughs> oh, God! on a flag since 1966 but they stand on their high horse don't they yeah exactly and i think it's because they had a little bit of success in the early 2010s but um the saints fans are very very annoying i think the club's annoying as well to be honest yeah they don't have that much of a good atmosphere as well i'm sorry card man you're getting put in the can't stand yeah them. apologies card man. essendon great atmosphere i think most are like quite loyal i would say below average <laughs> They just, to me, feel like the evil team. Like, they just yeah. feel like the bad guys. And <laughs> I don't know, maybe because that's because of the drug saga or whatever. But yeah. if you ever go online and you see Essendon fans commenting on things, they just seem like... Very impulsive. Yeah, and annoying. I remember them getting pumped when all of their players got suspended and the fans were on top of the tunnel, like, hurling abuse at them and, like, spitting on them and yeah. stuff. Can you remember that? Yeah. I'm going to chuck them in below average, and I'm happy with that. Yeah. We're coming down to the big sources of the league. Yeah, I'm excited for the last few. We're going to go to the West Coast Eagles. I can't stand them, but they are loyal fans. It's always hard to get a membership with the Eagles. They have a good atmosphere from the games that I've been to. Oh, they're very knowledgeable fans as well. They're not nuffies. Like, I respect them for that. I would say I can't stand them. Every time I put up a video or whatever, it's like, big bias, big bias, and it's never from a Freo fan. <laughs> it's always from a West Coast fan, and it just does my head in. It's like, I'll be tipping a game between Richmond and Collingwood, and they'll be, big bias, West Coast. It's like, <laughs> what are you talking about? No, oh, I'm having to chuck him in, can't stand them. Yeah, I can't why stand not? Them. <laughs> Fuck it, he was do one. We made the rules. You haven't got the control of my mouth. I can't stand you. <laughs> <laughs> we 
We're down to the big daddies. Yeah, perfect. We got Richmond and Collingwood. We're gonna do Richmond first. And for me, top notch. I don't see them below that, to be honest. But as a Victorian, how do you see the, the Tigers? Richmond fans in general are a little bit annoying, but I'm happy to put them in top notch as well. I've always just loved the yellow and black. They're the most passionate fans in the league, I think. I have a mate that's always watched Richmond through thick and thin. And you think Richmond and you think the punt road end going off. Yeah, exactly. So I'm happy to put them in top notch. Um, one of my mates growing up was a big Richmond fan, and we'd go to the games where it was like Jack Watts versus Dustin Martin, like the young, yeah. the young guns. We were both, <laughs> you know, 14th and 15th. And yeah. When they won a couple of flags, like I'm not really sick of it because no, they were no, no. always my second favourite team because of my best mate growing up. I just look at my mate enjoy the success and go, that could be me. Collingwood. Obviously, personal experiences. I think everyone's had a pretty dodgy everyone's personal had a experience yeah, with the Collingwood had... fan. And when I go to Richmond and Collingwood games, it's always a little bit dodgy. I like the club though. Yeah, same. And I like the club because of the big supporter base that they have. I think they are a little bit working class and they sort of dig in deep and I like the way Eddie's got this community type vibe and they're sort of like us against the world which is cool as well. I just remember being 10 in a train station with two Collingwood fans drinking some sort of spirit out of a bottle and hurling abuse at people. I think that rules them out of top notch for me. I'm happy to put them at good. I was going to say good, yeah. If you put a Tigers fan next to a Collingwood fan, you'd prefer to be standing next to the Tigers fan. Yeah, So for sure. <laughs> on that basis, I'm going to chuck Collingwood at good. All right, sweet. That, that's all the 18 teams, Dossa. There we think, go. I uh, think we formed a, a good list there. Well, I'm going to cop even more hate off uh, the West, <laughs> West Coast, Coast. there. <laughs> but prove me wrong. Now's your chance to prove me wrong. <laughs> Send him compliments. Send him love. Caden's channel will be in the description. You already know him. Thanks for coming on, Dossa. Thanks no for giving Thanks me your time. That so, was good fun. Should do it again soon. All the people watching, I appreciate you watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Stay safe.